Bonjour, class. Now we're going to look at the future tense of stem-changing verbs, okay, in French. Um, if you remember when we were doing the present tense, we had regular ER verbs, regular IR verbs, regular RE verbs. Then we also had six different categories of stem-changing verbs, okay, that I gave you. So the first one we're going to look at um, was the CER verbs. CER as in placé, okay? It's a stem-changing verb. Um, if you remember, we have to add the CD. Je place, tu places, il place, nous plaçons. You add the CD. This verb does not change in the future tense. It stays the same. We treat it as a regular verb. Placerai, okay? Tu placeras, il placera. No change for CER verbs. The next one we're going to look at is GER verbs, okay? So, for example, manger, okay? Manger, if you remember in the present tense, je mange, tu manges, il mange, nous mangeons. In the new form, you have to add an E. Don't worry about it here for the future tense. It doesn't change. So again, tu mangeras. No change. Nous mangerons. No change. So it's considered regular in the future tense. Okay. Next category that we had was uh, YER verbs, okay? So YER verbs, um, they're treated again like regular verb. Uh, the one exception that I'm going to give you is the verb envoyer. So let's first deal with um, the regular ones, okay? Uh, nettoyer. Nettoyer is to clean, okay? So when you do the conjugation in the present tense, je nettoie, okay? O, I, E. The Y changes to an I, and the conjugation for the ER verbs is E, E, S, E, okay? So you have this for je. You're going to take this and add an R. So... It's a little bit of tweaking. Okay. So, here's my stem with an R. Ne, toi, don't forget any of the vowels. Here's my R that I added in. Ne, toi, re. Ne, toi, re. Okay. Tu, ne, Ra. Il, elle, on, ne, toi, ra. Okay, it looks like a lot of vowels in there, but that's what works. Okay, so now it's considered, it's a stem-changing verb, but this is the way you're going to treat it for the future tense. That's going to go for all the Y-E-R verbs, except for envoyer. Envoyer is our exception, and we'll deal with that um, separately, okay, as an irregular verb. Okay, next category that we had in the present tense was when we had silent E, uh, the silent E before the infinitive, okay? Let's go through that. Silent E before the infinitive as in... Enlevé, okay? Silent E, no accent, before the infinitive ER. What we're going to do is the present tense. Jean lève. You're going to treat it exactly like nettoyer. So it's going to be, well, Jean Lève-verai. J'enlèverai. Okay. 
J'enlèverai. Tu enlèveras. Okay? So again, it's like the first one, je, j'enlève, tu enlèves, but you add back your R because it's an ER verb. Okay, the next category that we're going to look at with stem changing verbs in the future. Uh, if you remember when we did the present tense and I gave you all those exceptions, all right, um, you had two verbs that were an exception to enlever. They were jeter and the other one was appeler. We put them in the same category together. When you did the the present tense conjugation for both of these, what happened is you doubled your consonant. So, je jette. Okay, remember jeter, Derek Jeter to throw, appeler to call. So je jette. So what you're going to do with this one is you will plug it in. with an R. So you're going to take the je form and put an R. Let's change colors. I'm going to go like that one. Je jetterai. Okay? Jeter, je jette, je jetterai. Tu jetteras, ils, elles, ont jette. Nous jetterons, vous jetterez, ils ou elles jetteront. Okay? We have one more stem changing verb that we did in the present tense, and that was when the verbs have an E accent aigu in the syllable before the ER. Okay? E accent aigu in the syllable before the ER. So, for example, we're going to use, um, let's use célébrer. Célébrer. Okay, here's my E accent aigu in the syllable before the ER. It was the last stem changing verb that we did in the present tense. This one, there's no change. Okay, this one's easy. You treat it as a regular ER verb. Je. Now we go back to je. Célébrer. Okay? C'est oh, pardon. Célébrer. Célébrer. Célébrerai. Tu célébreras. Here's your ending. Il ou elle célébrera. Madame célébrera, ok? Nous célébrerons. Célébrerons. Ok? So that is the end of the stem changing verbs, all right? Remember, you have six different categories. Uh, for this, you had, we went through the C-E-R verbs, and we went through the G-E-R verbs. Both of those had no change whatsoever in the future tense. We had the Y-E-R verbs, and Y-E-R, we used the je of the verb, and what we did was we added an R to the je. So, for example, um, nettoyer. Okay, nettoyer, you use the O-I-E, added an R to it, and that's what you used all the way through. The exception to the Y-E-R verbs that we had was envoyer. We didn't do that verb yet. That one is completely irregular. Um, and then we had the silent E in the syllable before E-R. So, for example, with that one, it was enlever. We added je, we took je. And we added an R. The next one was jeter. We took the je form and we added an R. 
And then you had E, accent aigu, uh, before the ER, and we have no change, okay?